we are back home and I ended up picking up all four of them. So let's take a look at them. We have the purple Gravedigger, we have the blue Thunder, we have the El Toro Loco, and we have the Dragon. We're gonna start off with the Dragon. So here's the front of the box, shows off the truck. And flip it around to the back of the box and you just have a bunch of, this is the international card, so it's gonna be in different languages. But yeah, all the cards are the same, so I'm not gonna show the back of the boxes for each individual truck like I usually do. So let's just rip into the Dragon. All right, we have Dragon out, and I'm pretty sure this is mix two of these 170 scale trucks. Now, they are totally made of plastic. The only things that are metal on the trucks are the axles right here and the little screw in there too. But let's take a look at the Dragon. It says Dragon right there with the Monster Jam logo. It's got the mouth right there, the scales. Same thing on this side as it was the other side. Got the horns. The roll cage and the chassis are the same thing, so it has a yellow roll cage, let's just say that. And it has grayish black tires, which are cool. So that's basically all you can review for the Dragon. So let's move on to the El Toro Loco. All right, here it is, and this one looks good. I saw that the El Toro Loco had a little scuff on its horn right there. Tried to find another El Toro Loco in better condition where there wasn't a scuff on the horn, but they all were like that. This right here was the one in the best condition, so I'm glad about that. But it says El Toro Loco right there with the Monster Jam logo. It's got the T, it's got the flames coming out of the nose, it's got the bull ring, same thing on this side as it was the other side. Nothing on the tailgate. Here are the horns and it has a black roll cage. And again, the grayish blackish tires. I'm pretty sure the tires are like that for all of them. That's basically all I can review for the El Toro Loco. So let's move on to the Blue Thunder. So let's open it up. Alright, here's the Blue Thunder. Now this one is probably my favorite one out of the mix. I just really like how it transferred into the smaller scale. But it says Monster Jam right there in Blue Thunder. Blue Thunder on the hood as well. Same thing on this side as was the other side. Nothing on the tailgate. It's even got the lightning going across the roof right there. It's got a black roll cage and it has the grayish blackish tires. That's basically all you can review for the Blue Thunder. So let's move on to the fourth and final truck, which is the Purple Grave Digger. All right, here is the purple Gravedigger. This Gravedigger right here has a lot of detail put into it, which is nice. It says Gravedigger right there. It's got all the tombstones right there, the flame. No painted headlights, which is a shame. Same thing on this side as it was the other side. Nothing on the back. It's got Gravedigger bad to the bone up there. And you can even see a little bit, you can see some of the names and some of the sponsors on the tombstone, which is cool. But it has a green roll cage with the grayish blackish tires. And that's basically all you can review for the Gravedigger. But that was my review of the Mix 2 Spin Master Monster Jam 170 scale trucks. I was very fortunate to pick these up for a cheap price. They usually are at CVS and Five Below for five and six ninety nine, dollars And I got them at Ollie's for $2.99, so that is pretty good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely consider smash that like button and like subscribe. Peace out, MJG out.